Nine News anchor Kyle Clark sat inside the rally all afternoon and brings us some perspective. Hey, Kyle. Uh, hi, Alex. Uh, yeah, it's interesting because obviously Trump's main claim about Aurora is false on its face, right? That Aurora has been conquered by a Venezuelan gang. Uh, so conquered that he was able to come and have an event at this beautiful luxury resort. Uh, so conquered that close to 10,000 people uh, were able to come here and enjoy a beautiful day and, and so forth. Obviously, Aurora is an enormous city geographically. It's also a very large city population wise, 400,000 people. And at this point, there have been 10 uh, Venezuelan gang members identified. Nine of them have been arrested. Aurora police insists that their presence is small and that their presence is isolated. But Trump is now making this a centerpiece of his campaign and his supporters here today clearly loved it, right? He played all of the familiar hits and he leaned into this criticism about Aurora and then extrapolating beyond Aurora to suggest that Colorado is being taken over by this Venezuelan gang. And he repeated a false claim that he's made before about the situation that somehow this gang has firepower beyond that of the U.S. military. Let's listen people bursting into buildings with AK-47s, military-style weapons, sometimes better than our own military. You have to ask, they're illegal migrants. They come from poor areas. Where the hell do they get these guns, the best guns? Where do they get them? Where do they get them? Who gives them better guns that, than our military has? Who is giving them the guns? Yeah, again, just obviously another claim that's kind of it, it's false on its face. Right. Um, but what he's talking about there in terms of the fact that people who are in this country illegally having weapons, you cannot possess a weapon in this country if you are here illegally. So if somebody is here illegally and they have a weapon, that is an additional crime. But the idea that it's it's firepower beyond what the military has, it's just kind of a, a nonsensical thing. Uh, there was a bit of that. There were some there's some new ground covered in terms of uh, new false claims. There's a, a false claim that Democratic Governor Jared Polis uh, was the instigator of the effort to kick Trump off the ballot in Colorado. That unsuccessful effort was actually brought by Republican primary voters and unaffiliated primary voters who had standing because they could vote in the Colorado Republican primary. And they worked with a, a liberal nonprofit out of Washington, D.C. to try and get Trump off the ballot. But he blamed Jared Polis for that. Um, so it, it it was kind of interesting um, talking to folks in the rally. Um, some folks clearly were there. They, they, they believed it. They enjoyed the message. Some folks were there, you know, just kind of for, for entertainment sake, it almost kind of seemed like. Uh, we had one gentleman tell us like, oh, yeah, I know the Venezuelan gang thing isn't true, but, you know, I, I'm still a Trump guy. Um, so it was it was an interesting uh, it was an is interesting situation to see up close. Obviously, everybody's familiar with Trump rallies from watching them on TV, but to actually get a chance to be in the rally and talk to the participants and ask them what they were there for. And a lot of it truly it's seemed was community. They were there for community with other conservatives and Republicans in Colorado at a time when, when they uh, feel because they are outnumbered in this state and have been for a little while. And Kyle, the last time he's been here was uh, years ago in Colorado Springs. So it, you know, it hasn't come to the metro area, so to speak, in a long time. And he knows, even though he says he's leading in the polls here, he knows he's behind in Colorado. Yeah, I mean, that's one of those where it's like, is that, you know, was that a lie when he said that he was leading in a poll in Colorado or is that just kind of like a, you know, just kind of the fancy falsehoods that, that people just kind of laugh off and enjoy? The crowd loved it. The crowd cheered. I don't think anybody in the crowd believed that he's leading in the polls here. The public polling has Kamala Harris up in nine to 15 points in Colorado. But you're right, Kim, he, has, he hasn't been in the metro area in a very long time, if I'm not mistaken. That was 2012 when he was at the Jeffco Fairgrounds. 2016, he did a rally in Colorado Springs right before the COVID shutdown. It was one of the last big events in Colorado before COVID hit. Hmm. Okay. So interesting to hear how people receive this. It's almost just like a fun performance, you know, but this is a person running for the president of the United States.